Hello, Justin Ride Mediterranean Garden and Outdoor Living. Welcome back to the video blogs. This particular particular piece I want to talk about today is the problems you get with having grass and lawns. Um, this is a, uh, an area of turf that's been down probably about six months now. And you might on first impressions think, well, what a lovely area of grass there, nice and green and lush. But on closer inspection, when I turned up this morning, I could see this little as you can see there, I can't really zoom in very well, but you can see this area is a slight looking a bit brown. It just looked a bit lifeless, a bit dull. Whereas the other section, you can see the blades growing quite comfortably. That's cutworm, which is basically a type of a caterpillar's underneath the grass has eaten the roots. Now, I know that because just from experience, it starts to go that strange colour, what I said. And most people think there's a lack of water or lack of fertiliser. And what you do, you tend to water it more, put more fertiliser on, and that doesn't do anything. In fact, makes it worse because it will probably end up just scorching. So, if I can just, and if we can look down there, you can see here there's just sections of grass that's just completely dead, and it's damp enough. The grass is wet, not a lack of water. And another good sign to notice with um, a problem like this, you'll notice the hoopoo birds. So when you turn up in the morning or later in the evening, you'll see these lovely hoopoo crested birds just pecking at the lawn. Now they're doing you a they're basically like an alarm signal. They're telling you that you've got cutworm because actually they're trying to get the caterpillars themselves. Another sign you'll see, I'm not seeing it here at the moment, you'll see lots of small little wasps just hovering over the grass. That's another sign to say you've got a pest below. So really, even though now this looks still quite acceptable, you can pick about a week before this starts to get considerably worse. And when I say considerably worse, whole swathes of the section will just die. You've got to treat with a chemical. Um, it changes its name for very much, so it's been known as Pyrifos, the days I used to use it, and you've got to mix it and put it down with some sulfate of ammonia to increase growing and kill the caterpillars. And what you do, you put this product down with the irrigation, and the caterpillars rise to the top because it's almost like uh, a bit of an acid. It's not a nice chemical really to use, but there's not many options in a situation like this where perhaps the client wouldn't be too happy to replace the whole area of grass. So there you go. Just a quick little tester there to the concerns of garden maintenance and what to know when your lawn you might think looks quite good, but actually in a week's time this would be quite in a bad way.